Have you ever wondered who you could become if you had no limits? If there was something out there that would let you redefine what's possible? To make the clutch play, outwit your opponent, it would help you power up to hit hard and bag harder. It would allow you to thrive in a peak state of mental focus and clarity. To dig deep and find your courage against all odds. And unleash your true potential. Blue Bows, evolve your game. Okay, welcome to Reboot Robot Podcast number 12. And uh, we're back again with some with some news and some updates. Um, something has occurred just recently this um, this past few days. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Carlos Charlie Mongia, and I'm here with the Nostradamus of Gaming, Shinke Day. How are you today, young sir? Hey, what up? I'm um, doing, doing fine, like always. Awesome. And also, uh, this podcast is brought to you by Bluebos. You want to check out the link in our comment section below. It's pretty much an energy supplement that will help your gaming needs. It'll give you that edge on getting all those frags and kills. Probably stay up a little late. Who knows? But check it out. There's a lot of information on that. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be it, good for you. It is especially important today that um, the Overwatch weekend is on. Ooh, good point. Yeah, since it's going to be the Overwatch weekend, I suggest you do stock up on some Bluebos so you could actually, you know, if you come home from work, you're tired, and, I mean, you're not doing that good, you're not focusing on your game, check out that link. It'll probably help you out. There's all the information you need on there for some energy supplements strictly for, well, it's geared towards gaming, but you can use it towards other things as well, but check out the link below. It has everything on there for you, so. All right. All right. And now for um for what we just uh, oh for what happened this past week, uh, first everybody's talking about the PlayStation Pro, which was codenamed um, PlayStation Neo, PS4 Neo, but now it's PlayStation Pro, and um, I think Neo sounded better, don't you think? Or what what should have they called it? I mean, PlayStation Pro sounds a little like meh, you know? It's like they could have come up with something better, you think? Or you think Pro sounds good to you? Well, the pro thrills better the message than uh, than Neo does, because Neo not only uh, gives a message message of a new PlayStation 4, so yeah. that could be anything. Uh, PlayStation Pro does does carry a different message. It's pretty much saying that um, this console is, is gear is geared to the pro player. Like, if you really want to step up your game, mm -hmm. that this is the console that you want. Uh, so, yeah. um, it isn't I, I'm I'm not like fan of the of the name, but I'm also I'm also not um I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just all right. Um, it, it doesn't it doesn't roll out the tongue as as PlayStation Neo though. Neo was yeah. easy to say. I guess it's for marketing reasons. It sounds more professional. PlayStation Pro, you know. But um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I'll, I'll stick with it. But, uh, but what I don't like those are the design. Yeah, the design looks a little funky. I, yeah, I remember I said that earlier when I first saw it. Yeah, it, it looks like uh, well, everybody's been even has been doing the joke of a triple decker. But uh, it looks like a like a triple decker hamburger. It looks like it looks like a um, what what do you call that? A Big Mac. Yeah, Big like Macs a Big Mac. Has that triple layer of meat and stuff. Yeah, they they they. The two the two pounder, or yeah, double half pounder, double pounder, whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like the design. Then the final design, um, and then they went with the, with the the same design. Then the um, the slim version, that yeah. is it, it, is, it, and it's I don't know, it looks cheaper, I I. It, it, since it doesn't have any glossy parts, it, it does look cheaper. I, I mean, know. yeah, the, the slim, I mean, uh, I think we talked about this before. The The PlayStation 4 is already slim and small enough as it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it gets any smaller, I mean, does, is, is it really a need for that? I mean, but, all I, but, I mean, as I was saying, this slim is going to be pretty much 
the the PlayStation 4 they're only going to sell now. It's going to be the basic, the vanilla version. It's, it's going to be that's the only thing that's going to be on the market now, from what I understand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's what's that's what's going to be available now. Um, yeah. Yeah, although it's a, it's just a it's just a small a small um a small nitpick. Um, the um, the I, I also um I don't know what you think about this, but it should be I I think it should be better to um, address it right away. What what do you think about the console not having a, a um an ultra an ultra Blu-ray player like a 4K Blu-ray player? Uh, that I don't care much because um where we live at there's no blockbusters. We don't rent movies. Everything we we get online. Um, everything here is online. We stream everything online. I already have a player, mm-hmm. so um, that's not really a, a big thing for me. And also, um, they've been looking at it, and that could be supposedly later on they could add it on. But I mean, I don't know why they don't add it on now. But for me, that feature is uh, it's it's pointless. I mean, but the thing is, a lot of other people think otherwise. But mm-hmm. um, for me, it's not it's not needed. And as you said, PlayStation Pro is for pro gaming, so it's geared towards gaming. Even though it has going to have the, for some reason, the 4K YouTube and the 4K Netflix, I guess supposedly some sort of a 4K streaming service for both for both things, but mm-hmm. uh, for me, yeah, that's not an issue. I already have a player in, in my living room, so that's not really a big thing for me. All right, yeah, I I want to get a gear input knowing that you can actually uh, you actually have a 4K TV, so you you should you could already take advantage of it. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. pers- I, per- personally, also, I don't, I don't really care, not, not even much. I don't just don't care at all because, as I mentioned, as I've been mentioning on the past, uh, previously, um, I really don't, I really don't care about 4K. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I barely watch movies. I watch movies probably like once every like two or three months. Exactly. So I'm man. not. I'm not gonna be buying. I'm not gonna be buying a a 4K TV, especially for 4K uh, movies. So to mm-hmm. me, it doesn't. It's completely, completely uh, unnecessary, mm-hmm. because again, this is a uh, this is geared towards to, towards a uh, better gaming experience. And um, yeah, so so I really don't care. But they, but since for some reason, um, a lot of people in the community has been complaining about it, even oh, though man. a lot of backlash. Even even though even though um, people who don't play games who don't play who actually don't watch movies, mm-hmm. supposedly like quote unquote they play games and they're like gamers, uh, they've been complaining about, about this unnecessary feature. Although to be honest, if you if I if I had to make a guess why, it's because um, um, because this is a feature that the PlayStation doesn't have that the Xbox One is has. So it's more about stupid console wars. So honestly, it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know exactly what you said. They're like little kids. I mean, he has it, but I don't. You know, or why does he have it and I don't? You know, I want that one. I don't want this one. Like little kids, right? You know what I'm talking exactly. about? Yeah. Exactly. And, I mean, that, and plus, a lot of people are are given like uh like you just said it like the Xbox um the One S Xbox One S saying that it already has HDR. It plays HDR. It's it's this, it's that. I mean, uh, that's cool. I mean, that that's great that it has it. I mean, this mm-hmm. is the PlayStation's version of the Xbox S1, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, it, I, I, someone asked me, "Is like, hey, since you got the, since you've already pre-ordered the PlayStation Pro, are you going to get the Xbox S?" Because I mean, and I told them about exclusivity. That's why you know I like I like both systems, both consoles, both companies, whatever. And um. Mm-hmm. And I and I was telling them that uh you know what actually I'm gonna wait for the Scorpio because the Scorpio is coming out like next the beginning or they're gonna announce at the beginning of next year and that's it's gonna be out pretty soon I mean if they want to catch up to to PlayStation or they, if they want to get the upper hand they're gonna have to come out with Scorpio very very soon which will be in the beginning of next year so mm-hmm. um but um yeah I mean and and I don't understand that I mean people are also saying I mean um. Get the Xbox S One. I've been reading comments saying that you know what? Why get the the PlayStation Pro when you get the Xbox S One, whatever? And that's the easy, easy, easy answer. The thing is exclusivity, dude. I mean, you cannot play you know Uncharted on the Xbox S S One, right? I mean, 
-hmm. you cannot you know play both games on both systems. So I mean that's why I want to get the PlayStation Pro, and I'll get the Scorpio later for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, and also and also the the comparison people saying that uh that uh the Xbox Xbox One S does uh PlayStation Pro. It's that people are stupid, honestly. Sorry for the word, sorry for the French, but uh, but yeah, it's it's, it's a stupid, it's a stupid comparison. Um, if you play, if you play, I I don't I don't have an Xbox One S. I just have a regular Xbox One, right? Yeah, me too. And we I, both do. We both do. Yeah. And I and I did play. I did play, for example, Titanfall. Uh, the the beta, the Titanfall beta on both consoles, right? Right. And right. the difference, the graphic difference is 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 uh, is is completely evident. So it is completely evident. We know the Xbox One S has like about like uh, well like three percent more power than the regular Xbox One. Supposedly. Um, and and yes, it still it doesn't it doesn't uh, it, it does it doesn't reach the level of performance that the, the PlayStation Four currently has. Right? I know. It's just yeah, and, I know. It's just a gimmick. And, and 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 we know and we know that the PlayStation Pro is. Twice as powerful as the PlayStation 4. Yeah, dude, nearly so, twice as powerful. Uh, yes, again, this is just it's, it's just uh, a stupid um, just stupid console wars. Like yeah, just people, it just, is. people trying, just 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 people, especially uh, there are some YouTubers just making drama just for the sake of getting views. Although that, in the end, in the end, these people they end up uh, damaging the, the the community and damaging the the, the whole industry. Uh -huh. uh, just for a few coins, honestly, it's stupid. I don't, uh, I don't Dude, subscribe to that type of stuff. Um, and the thing is, I mean, also, um, like, uh, like after w watching all the videos and stuff like that, after watching all the backlash, you know, people are asking other people, "Hey, why are you getting the console? Um, is it worth it?" Actually, someone on my Instagram asked if it was worth it. Asked me if it was worth it. And uh, after watching the 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 videos on 4K through my 4K TV it looks gorgeous it looks awesome but the thing is um, I'm under a certain situation where it's a perfect time for me to buy like for example um, mm -hmm. my wife well yeah, of course you know my wife um, I make her like she's a total stranger <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you don't know my wife yeah but um, she wants a PlayStation 4 solely for um, the new Final Fantasy that's coming out Final Fantasy 15 Exactly. Because um, the thing is, it's going to be a long game, and I have a thing about sharing consoles with people when I'm not here. I mean, I'm I'm just iffy like that. I mean, if you're playing with any of my stuff, I mean, I don't want anybody in my room if I'm not here because my room is full of delicate stuff. If anything happens, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's bad. So um, so we plan on buying her a uh, PlayStation 4 when that game comes out. Well, the game just got delayed, so um, so right now it's a perfect time to. I want to buy a PlayStation Pro, and I'm going to give her the the special one that I have, the Destiny version of my PS4. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, I mean, I need a PS4, and I have a H, and I got a 4K TV. So, for in my situation, it falls perfectly to get this piece, uh, PS4 Pro, and also for the price of 3.99, it's actually a pretty good price, dude. Because we were talking about this before, how mm -hmm. we thought it was going to be like uh, 450 or 500 dollars. Remember, due to the fact that yeah. it uh, it has this 4K capabilities so um so with that I mean for for me it's it's a perfect time for me to buy it fits me and what I'm doing now but then again not every gamer is going through what I'm going through right now you know what I'm saying they have their PlayStation exactly. 4s they don't have 4k TVs which is fine and I heard that they're coming out with a patch for the regular PlayStation 4s to upscale it right or to play a certain type of um uh, compatibility with their TV supposedly so I mean uh, to have uh, HDR actually yeah to have HDR so I mean that's that's something else so so for me I need a PlayStation 4 so it's perfect for me and mm -hmm. um, and so I mean it's if if you don't want it just don't get it I mean if you're happy with your PS4 it's going to work just fine with your other games that's fine I mean a lot of people are giving it like how, how can they do this to us um, mm -hmm. Xbox One, do, do they want to give a leadway to Xbox One or God knows what? And it's like, come on, guys, really? It's like, it's just an option that PlayStation is throwing out there for any 4K or high definition users. Pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know. And also, and also, some of the of the things they showed, um, they actually they actually mentioned that they will um, uh, improve performance for for non 4K users. Um, yeah. 
all games guaranteed to run uh, 1080p 60 frames per second if you just have a, a regular TV like me. Because I have mentioned again, and I just said like a few minutes ago, I don't really care about the uh, 4K TVs, and I right, don't, right. I'm, I don't really want to move um, forward that. Uh, because many reasons, for example, the, the fact that uh, rendering games in 4K uh, will have a lot, will uh, have a lot of lag and and calibrating the TV and having sure. a TV for gaming performance is not it's not that it's not that simple. It's just having it's not just having a a a big TV. It's just uh, right. checking other factors. And I'm pretty pretty happy uh, with the the TV that I have. Yeah, dude. Um, and plus, I I know you. I mean, you're pretty much you're a lot into gameplay. You don't need those razzle dazzle graphics, which is not needed to enjoy a game. Of course not. But um. But I mean, it's and also what I see that I don't know if this could be an issue. But I mean, how is it difficult to sell this console? How can you explain to this console to a father that does not know gaming? Like for example, like like if like if a parent, a mother, father goes to a GameStop or to a Fry's Electronics, whatever, and they're like, "Yeah, my son wants a console. He wants a PS4. What do you have for me?" And they try to explain this. You know, say so it's like um. Like, what is this geared towards? I mean, imagine the salesperson say, "Yeah, we have a PlayStation 4. It has um, it has uh, what HD graphics, and I don't know what. But for a hundred dollars more, there's a PlayStation Pro, and this thing has, you know, uh, this has 4K resolution, this and that. I mean, I can see how it could be kind of difficult to explain it to a person that you know wants to buy it for somebody else, right? I mean, I don't know. Um, I I don't I don't I don't think I don't think that that could be really a problem. For, mm. because for example, I um, every like a grandpa or grandma or like a parent will go to a GameStop or whatnot, and um, they can be they can they can exactly just say that like, you know what like this is like uh, we have this model is two hundred ninety nine, and uh, it will play all your games, it will play Call of Duty and whatnot, and then we have this other option which is like one hundred dollars more, but it's like the newer version of the console. Uh, it looks better, and if you already have one of those new TVs, you will, you can get more capabilities of your TV or whatnot. Um, honestly, I don't think it will be it will be that hard to market. Um, it is more about honestly, uh, I'm more concerned about about um, about um, garnering the or winning back the gaming community. Because uh, it's been a, a lot of backlash in the in the past few days. Oh yeah, I've, also, I've I've read a lot, man. A lot of YouTube videos thinking they're backstabbed or I don't know. I mean, it's just it's it's all it's all in perspective. But I mean, it's I don't know. It it is funny, for example, the fact that uh, everything that they show is pretty much what was already expected and leaked. So there was nothing new yeah. or nothing different. And everything was just as expected, and then everybody's like, "Oh, we were we we're so disappointed, and and we were stabbed, or we were lied to." Like the fuck you're talking about? Nobody was lied to. Everything, e everything, everything that was leaked is exactly what we got. Even the freaking design of the console was leaked, and um. Uh, so I don't know what I don't know what's that what's all that. Uh, much more. The only thing that the actual meeting that I was kind of disappointed on was that there was no nothing about the Vita, a little bit about the VR. I mean, it was just strictly solely for this console and explaining it on what it does. I mean, it would have been cool, like, because uh, I remember you said, I mean, what if they talk about the Vita, the forwards and backwards uh, capabilities in the streaming? That sounded an awesome. A new mobile console or just anything about the Vita would have been cool, right? I mean, yeah, much, that's pretty much it, you know. Yeah. I love the Vita, dude. The Vita is one of those consoles that I've I still play to this day. Yeah, yeah. I well, I, I, I that was that that to me was a little extra, so I wasn't really expecting much. Mm -hmm. uh, I was I, I was actually uh, more uh, looking towards the surprise, but well, alas, we didn't get anything. Uh, let's hope something happens in the near future, but um. I wasn't. I wasn't much disappointed. I also saw some people that were disappointed because they didn't show any new games, whatever. But uh, they completely missed the point. Yeah. This conference, this this meeting was not even was not even a showcase or a, or a big uh, conference like 
like key three or whatever. It was just uh, just to show the new console. So it was not to show new games, not to show new nothing. It was just to show uh, uh, the new PlayStation and just what it does, and that's it. Yeah, and also the specs that they gave, everything. I mean, they really, really pushed on the HDR stuff. So, mm -hmm. and um, I mean, and I've seen the videos in 4K, and they, they do look gorgeous. They do look good. I mean, the HDR, I don't know how much they could stretch that as far. The only thing I understand what that HDR does, it has some uh, really, really cool lighting effects. Not the mm -hmm. lighting that you would see, like, on an object, more like a like when the light hits your eye or when the sun kind of hits your eye, you get that gleam or that glare, kind of like that. And also uh, dark colors are really black, are really dark. Like they're really, like they're really deep. I mean, I, it's kind of hard to explain, but I mean, it, it's, it, it's good, but it doesn't like, it won't, it won't make a game be game of the year because of it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more like a luxury. That's, that's all it is. Yeah, um, well, the HDR is um, uh, pretty much like the range of um, of light that a TV yeah. can display. Exactly. So that means that means more, like uh, like more more colors. Not exactly more colors. That wouldn't be as precise, but it would be the easier way to explain. I kind of I kind of know what what it is because I did some uh, some uh, uh, graphic design stuff like that. Right. So uh, I did some HDR photos, and although it's different, um, and uh, photos than video, video is way more complicated to do. Um, I I kind of I kind of know what it does, and I can understand like how like how can make games different. Right. So, but it's still uh, another thing that kind of concerns me is the fact that uh, well, it's not concern, but uh. TVs especially not not much the console because they they the consoles they are good enough to display this many colors. More it's more about uh, the TVs. I don't think there is right now a TV uh, a TV a available that can actually uh, display good HDR or render good HDR without dropping or without causing any type of la any type of lag. Yeah, because that's some heavy stuff there, dude. And plus, um, I also heard that this uh, PlayStation Pro, it has like a program that it does display the 4K, but it has some sort of texture or architecture which makes it think it's 4K, but it's not really true 4K. Did you hear about that? Yeah. It's, kind of yeah, like, it, it's like a netting that it does, more like, um, I don't want to say a algorithm. Well, yeah, it could be like an algorithm. It is 4K, but it's not the true 4K. I mean, don't think that you know, that your eyes are going to see the difference? Not at all. Our eyes suck as human beings. I mean, don't think we could see, like, everything, but it's just something that they threw out there, but it is 4K. Have, did you hear about that? Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know all about that. It, it's actually, it's a technology called uh, uh, checkered, uh, checkered yeah. rendering or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and what it does, it, um, what it does, it takes, uh, it takes, like, a square. Uh-huh. A, like a sample, like um, like a square sample, and multiplies it by two. Yeah. So it gets from from a two K sample, it gets uh, uh, it makes like a like a kind of like a mesh, like a four K mesh. There you go. Yeah, like a mesh. It's a lot of interpolation and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, I I. I I, I heard about that. Uh, I've been I've been following that. Actually, that's the way they make uh, 4K movies now. Right now, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right now, right now. Um, uh, in order to make a 4K movie with a 4K master is very difficult. I it think is. there is only like one movie that is actually for like true 4K. It takes a uh, lot of resources. Yeah. Exactly. So. So yeah, the, yeah. It's pretty much what they're doing. And um, and besides, that's gonna make um, pretty much just to balance the the performance and all that, because um, because making a a rendering a game in through 4K uh, requires a lot of processing power and a 400 and a 400 uh, console is just no way in hell it can do it. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. Like. That, Three hundred ninety nine dollar console. I mean, it's damn. That's something. Exactly. That's it. That's the only way they could do it. They could do it without. Um, they could do it without driving the price of the of the console 
way high. Exactly. Good point. Good point. And um, also, I heard that the developers now, when they create a game, they have an option to make a patch for this 4K capability. And um, mm -hmm. some people were speculating. They're talking about how this could be more work for the devs. Like, for mm -hmm. example, like uh, even the games that we have now, the older PS4 games, now the devs have to create a patch for these games. Now, mm -hmm. since I've I've never pro well, I never programmed on that you know on that side of of the ball before, but I mean, I I don't know if that's going to be more work for the devs or they're going to be like oh you know are they going to be working them like slave drivers or uh, or I don't know how that works. I don't know what their contract is. I mean, do do they have to make this patch or does it cost them to make this patch? Because I understand I understand that if you, if a dev makes a patch for any game, it could be to fix it or to make it better. It needs to go through a process, and this process mm -hmm. takes time and money, from what I understand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I don't I don't think I don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be such a huge huge deal because um uh because for example like all games that run on computers right um they already come with high like in any high um, uh resolution resolution maps and stuff right and textures so it'll be just adapting that it will, it will be just it'll be all of that it, it'll be all about um adapting um the um, uh, just just upping up the the textures and all that so i don't think it will be much it'll be much work Okay. Um, it will. It will. It will require some optimization, but not the same as porting a game from one console to the other. It'll be just, just some uh, upping up textures and all, and stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, they're not like uh, reinventing the wheel, like uh, remastering the game. You know, same with the patch. Nah. Of course not. That'd be way too much. No, but, it's uh, it's nothing. Like, it's nothing like that. It is nothing yeah. like that. That's what I figured, but I mean, people just speculating online. Oh, the devs have to create patches now, and it's gonna be money. They're gonna go on strike. I'm like, where is this coming from? What? <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, whatever that could, you know, stir the pot of shit. I guess. Well, but, let's um, let's just let, let's just let's just say that uh, people don't really understand how game develop development works. They have no fucking clue how it works. Yeah. So it's easier just to throw speculations and just throw. Um, just throw random things uh, than really educate themselves. Um, yeah. No, it is nothing like the way is the the way people is making it seem. Uh, it is not like the end of gaming. Like some people are making it seem like, oh, this is the end of console. I've seen some people online also saying like, this is the, end the this is finally the end of console gaming. It oh, is geez, not the end on. of console gaming. Quite the opposite. And um, I don't know. I'm just. Just um, people just being very misinformed and just spreading misinformation. So I know, man. I mean, I'm I look forward to this console. I really do. I mean, I and the thing is, um, my TV. I don't really use the 4K on it in my room. I mean, because this TV in my room, I only use it for the PS4, Xbox One, and and my computer too. But I don't really use its 4K capabilities much. Mm -hmm. And now with this uh, with this pro, I mean, it also has the streaming services or whatever. I could actually utilize it 100% for that. So I'm I'm very excited. And also the the controller is a little bit gimmicky. How they have the light source at the front or something? Did you see that? They have like mm -hmm, a little yeah. light bar on the front. So I guess it could flash you in the face. I guess. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. But that's that's something else, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That that's um, that's and and it, and it looks a little bit different. It's actually the the yeah. handles look a little bit wider too. Yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah. It does. It looks it looks closer to the Xbox One controller. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So I mean, um, I look forward to all that. And also, I heard that it, it works very well with the VR, PlayStation VR. I mean, uh, actually, somebody at GameStop was talking about this. How like if you get the VR for the regular PS4, they kind of uh, they kind of water it down a bit mm -hmm. due to the um, uh, what's it called due to the resources that the uh, that the VR needs. I mean, he says it's not much, but He's saying that the VR is specially made for the PlayStation Pro, so I mean that's pretty cool because I'm getting the VR very soon as well. So I mean that's something to look forward to. Yeah, let's 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 put it this way. Um, people and probably you probably you notice it because you have already played uh, VR. You have already experienced yeah. that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I haven't, but I've seen people who play VR already. They say that. Um, they say that. Uh, they. 
games on VR right now on their on regular and on vanilla PS4 looks. They look like um, they look like a PlayStation 3 game. Oh really? And it looks very pixelated, very jaggy, very low res. Uh, something to keep in mind is in order to run a a good VR experience, uh, oh, you man. need to run a game at at probably 120. Uh, frames per second. Per second, dude. Yeah, that's very exactly. true. So, very so true. you need to sacrifice a lot of uh, graphic fidelity for, Resources. for power, yeah. uh, for performance and power. So there you go. That, yeah, that's, I mean, even the most highest um, highest made PC needs to be very powerful to run a, a VR. We're, we're even lucky that this VR can even run on a PlayStation 4. I mean, exactly. seriously. Seriously. Exactly. And, 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 I, and I am pretty positive that... Um, the reason why they why they came with the with the PlayStation Pro so soon is because is because VR because Sony needs it for VR. Um, yeah, that'll make perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, because because the PlayStation Four regular PlayStation Four uh, probably won't be as good when it comes to VR. So that's probably why they they uh, kind of rushed it. I don't think they it, it was rushed, but um. Kind of gave, kind of released it now because in it now because VR is coming up like a month from now. Yeah, dude, it's uh, next month, man. Like, I mean, I'm I'm very stoked about it because I played Resident Evil Seven on it. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was it was very. The key thing is immersion, and that gives the full immersion of something. So that's it's very cool. I can't wait to actually test it out. So we'll definitely throw a video up on that as as soon as it comes out. All right, and um, there's also some people already comparing, already saying that the play, the PlayStation Pro is losing against the Scorpio, and although oh, yeah. it, it it is a it is a valid argument to make, it's not as valid to make it now, because um, because um, the PlayStation Scorpion right now doesn't exist, and whatever Microsoft is uh, Microsoft said, th those are not final. Final um, uh, specs or anything, so we don't know if, if they can they can even achieve whatever they're saying. So it won't be it, it won't be um, it won't be a fair comparison until that console comes out. Uh, but yeah, that's another thing. That's another thing that I that I that I've seen some people uh, going on about is uh, like how uh, the PlayStation the PlayStation Four uh, the PlayStation Pro is is already lost the console war against um, against um, the, Scorpio. Uh, the, the Scorpio. But the Scorpio Which, right now is an idea. This is something that doesn't exist. Doesn't even have specs, dude. They just say it's going to be the strongest uh, gaming, the most powerful gaming console console there ever is. But I mean, what is that? I mean, th there's no specs out. No, the only thing that I, I could see is that PlayStation uh, 4 Pro was the first punch that's been thrown. And mm -hmm. now they're waiting for how X, Xbox is going to counterattack. And mm -hmm. now they see what the PlayStation Pro is made of. Now they could kind of see what they could throw back at them. I think that's what they're, you know, what they're pretty much aiming for. But mm -hmm. I mean, but still, it's just an idea. The punch hasn't been thrown yet. The counterattack has not been uh, has not been deployed yet. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you can't really say anything. Not until they 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 pull out their guns. You know, so you can't really say anything. Exactly. Until we we know something about until we know something about the the Scorpio, it is not it is not a valid argument because right now Microsoft can say whatever they want about the Scorpion, the Scorpio, and the final release can be nothing like what they say. So uh, yeah, it's not. I, I don't think it's a it's a valid uh, thing to say just to 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 claim that PlayStation lost because uh, the Scorpio is going to be better because there is yeah, no such just a just thing as the Scorpio. Pod, yeah, just throw the shit. That's all it is. So, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I am going to get the Scorpio eventually because, once again, exclusives. I mean, I, I love my Gears of War. You know, I love my Halo. So, I mean, and plus, I've I've, I've known both consoles for many years now, and I, and I both love what they, what they pull out. So, yeah, either way. So, I mean, I'm cool with it. Yeah, my, my only uh, my only argument to get a Scorpio is exactly the same as the PS Pro is if I can get a any advantages by um, without having a 4K TV, I'm on board. If I need to have a 4K TV to make it worth 
the investment not not call me out because I really don't care much about. So on on that note, are you going to get a PS Pro? A PS4 I am Pro? Gonna, yes, I'm going to get a PS Pro. Cool, cool. Because okay. um because because they they did guarantee that uh, all games will be 1080p 60 frames per second, and some of, some games they say that might even run at 90 frames per second, 1080p. Nice. Yep. So so yeah, this. It, again, and and that's a, it's a, it was a smart of Sony to name it the PlayStation Pro instead of um, Neo or whatever or 4K because now we can we can safely say this is for like the pro gamer. So exactly. And yeah, and it's gaming just for, very much it's for pro gaming, man. That's why. Yeah, that uh, I guess that's why they put the title. And there's my receipt of me pre-ordering it right there, so I just put that in there. <laughs> but um, no, and, exa- and exactly, and exactly that. The, and and the thing is, for example, I. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 is coming out. Oh, yeah. uh, I did pre-order the special edition, all that. Nice. So uh, that means I'm pretty excited about that game. And uh, and it's a game that how it looks, it looks it looks crazy. So it, it looks like a, the type of game that you cannot you cannot know how it will run in consoles. The way it is, the way it looks. So yeah, good point. You don't know. So exactly like if if I can if if I'm guaranteed to to have like a stay frame rate and and have like the the gorgeous graphics that is that uh, that they've been showing like I'm gonna be on board like 100 so, percent. Oh yeah. So yeah, like I'm gonna get it. Although I'm not gonna get it right away on launch. I'm gonna, probably gonna wait until Christmas time to buy it. Just a month month afterwards. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna be getting it myself. Nice. Dude, although. Sweet, but... We could do a, a little gang PS4 Pro gang. <laughs> yeah, although although I'm not like I'm not as, as hyped or as excited as, as some other people. It's just like part of um, part of uh, of what it is. I'm, I mean, I need to have the latest in order Same to provide here, you with the greatest. Edge. I can't. I, I I told you about this, dude. Like, if I have something that's not good. And they have something better, and I could afford it, and it's there. I need to get it. Otherwise, I'll be playing games, and I'm like, dude, this game could be a little better. <laughs> Damn, I'll I'll throw that extra money so I could get the you know, the extra fidelity. I'm just like that. I mean, I know not everybody's like that, or not every gamer. That's not too important to them. But for me, that's just me, dude. I mean, that's that's just how I am. I've always been that way. So. Yeah, yeah. No, and and I'm actually, and honestly, I'm glad to the fact that uh that they've been. Uh, I mean that they they are releasing a console that is actually, that are also it also is gonna cater towards me, for example, not not towards just a, a very small demographic of people. Because to be honest, not many people has 4K TVs, and not many people will have 4K TVs for a very long time. Um, they are very expensive. It's a very expensive technology. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, gaming and 4K won't get along much. Uh, Good for a very long time because uh, TVs need to process a lot of pixels. Just keep in mind that uh, in order to have uh, high definition graphics, HD graphics, TVs they have they they have they they have a processor and they need to process images. They have a mini computers inside of them. So if you have a you have a computer, um, of course, if you have a console that is displaying 4K images and stuff, and uh, you will need to have a TV that has the capabilities to. Um, to perform as well, so uh, so yeah, 4K gaming still way to go to be an optimal. So yeah, true. Probably two years from now, once TVs are cheaper on the on the thousand dollar range, and um, they have better processing processing power, and they uh, they can guarantee that I can play without lag and all that, then I, I can join 4K. Right now, I'm not really interested. Yeah, because I mean, 4K is is the next is the next big step. I mean, I remember it was RCA, then they came with uh, 1080p, and I remember it, there was history is repeating itself. I remember when I was working at a electronics store, how um, they were jumping from uh, RCA to 1080p, and and uh, they were like, no, you know what? I like how my RCA looks like. You know, it's there's no difference. But when you look when you look at them side by side, it's like night and day, dude. There's a shitload of difference. They're just scared to either, you know, jump over or, or I mean, they just, they just don't want to experience it. But it's it's going to be the same thing, dude. Like history is repeating itself. 
4K is going to be in every household eventually. You know, that everything is heading towards mm -hmm. there, so it's just part of that stepping stone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, that's right. Although it is, um, um, it is a little expensive right now. It is yeah, a little it expensive. Is, it's still kind of new, so I mean, eventually it's going to be affordable for every home because, like I said, everyone's everything's geared towards it. So. Yeah, so so that that's that's the PlayStation 4K. It was it was kind of an underwhelming reveal, mostly because we already knew knew everything about yeah, the console. Yeah, due to the leaks and everything, we knew we were you know what was coming out, but we just wanted to see it. We wanted to know how they let it out the gate. You know, it was more like an educational show instead of a hyped E3 show. That that kind of turned off people too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people. Uh, but I think also it was another E3, dude. But it wasn't. It was just more like an educational meeting about this console. No, and it couldn't be. And it couldn't be. And actually, actually, um, the only thing that I was interested to know was the pricing. And correct me if I'm mistaken, but that was the PlayStation 4's original PlayStation 4 release price, right? Yeah. Three ninety nine too. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much it's gonna cost as much yeah, as a PlayStation right. 4 on launch, right? Yeah, exactly. That was pretty much it. Yeah, so I um, actually I think you say I think it's a pretty good deal. It is honest. a pretty good deal, man. That's why when I saw that I'm like, all right, I you know what? I was online, I was on Amazon, I was at GameStop, I was on Best Buy, I was refreshing the screens to get it. And um it wasn't the console was not available for pre order, so I had to go to physically go to a GameStop and uh mm -hmm. and reserve my copy. But it seems like um there's still copies available on Amazon and GameStop. I mean, a lot of people are not jumping to the 4K revolution right now because, like you said, it is expensive. Totally understand. And if you love your console, keep it. I mean, it still has a lot of life, you know, within it. But um, as for me, I mean, I just really, really want to check it out. And I've seen the videos in 4K, and they look it looks awesome. I was here with my wife, and she was like, oh, my God, this looks cool. It looks awesome. I mean, it's just – and it's sad because I can't – I can't – tape it and show it. You need 4K capabilities to see it, you know? It, it, it leaves me, like, in a weird predicament, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't record it on my phone and say, hey, guys, look at these graphics. Well, I can't because my phone doesn't record 4K, you know? It's exactly. just weird. You need to come here and see it for yourself, you know? It's like, damn. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I know, I know. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same thing with, with VR. For example, just as in, Something as simple as the 3DS. Uh, in order to show what a 3DS is, you need to have someone actually look at it. If not, um, if not, you cannot um, un really understand what what the whole fuss is about. Um, yeah, and I was gonna say something actually, but I forgot. Um, yeah, so. Right now, right now, I'm, I'm more concerned. I, I am more concerned about performance. Um, Sony does is guaranteeing a, a improved performance with this console for me. So, so that's enough to have me, to keep me on board. Uh, cool. So good. So on that note, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna get it. I pre-ordered it, and um, I'll definitely I, they're gonna sell it. Uh, they're gonna do a midnight sale on it, so I'll get it the day before, like at nine o'clock mm -hmm. on November. I'll get it on November 9th at nine o'clock, so I'll get that and I'll. Definitely throw a video up there. Um, but uh, meanwhile, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, um, and what, yeah, what, actually, what, yeah, actually, I, and I remember what I wanted to say. Uh, something just to just to to keep in mind is that this is not replacing the PlayStation 4 at all. It is not. It is not replacing the PlayStation 4 at all. So, uh, don't feel like you'll be left behind if you don't want to buy it yeah. or you cannot afford it. Yeah, I don't uh, think it's nothing. Way. This is this is not like a play this is not PlayStation 5 or nothing like that. It is it is simply just a, a an improved model kind of like what you have with a 3D no, not not even like that even. Like the 3D and the 3DS, uh, the new 3DS, um not even that because there are some games on the 3DS uh, that on the new 3ds that don't work on the on the on the old 3ds yeah uh but it's a little bit similar it is actually more akin to i uh, remember back in the day when the n64 came out with the with expansion pack oh yeah of course yeah 
something similar to that. That's that's what it is. So it's not like you gotta throw your PlayStation away. It's just um, a little bit of a refresher. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Because some people seem to be concerned that no, uh, they won't it's make. Not the they, they invest, uh, yeah, it's exactly. not the PlayStation Five. It's not. It's like a it four point five, but still. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a it's just a, a refresh, just a new machine. So nothing nothing big. It's not a generational leap. Probably I, 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 I even dare to say that probably the Scorpio, based on what they've been saying, what the the capabilities are, that's more of a of a generational leap. Based yeah. just on the on on the theoretical promises from Microsoft. But again until we until we know what the Scorpio actually is, uh, is pretty much nothing. So yeah, very, very good. Thanks for throwing it out. But you're right. That's why a lot of people, a lot of gamers are scared because they're like, oh, my God, I got to buy another console. This is going to be a next generation jump. It's not. It's just an upgrade, an upgrade that if you don't need it, it's fine. The games will run good on your PS4. Don't worry about it. So, I mean, yeah, just with that, I mean, let's see what happens to the launch. And I'll throw, uh, we'll throw more videos and news out there for you guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and actually, um, uh, one other thing is that... Um, that uh, even the the HDR capabilities, uh, they said that uh, this week, this upcoming week, that with I'm I'm, pre I'm pretty sure with uh, with PlayStation uh, with the PlayStation firmware point four point zero, right? They will be they will be patching HDR on the existing PlayStations. Okay. So um, yeah. true. So so given that, like, you don't need a PlayStation Pro to to enjoy HDR on the console, so. Yeah. Exactly. That's there's that. So, if you need more cementing that the PlayStation Four is going nowhere, there you go. <laughs> All right, good stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it on us on the PlayStation Pro. Uh, is there anything else? Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about a game I've been playing. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You're talking about no earlier. What's up with that game? Yeah, I uh, this this one game came out it, it, not out of the blue because I did see it announced. That's why. I, that's what I I bought it. Uh, it's called Ocean Horn. I've been Ocean playing. Ocean Horn. I, I haven't heard of it actually. Is it's a it's a it's an indie game? I'm guessing, right? It is. It is an indie game. Um, I, I'm. Uh, it is a it is a Zelda clone, like a like a shame a shameless Zelda clone. Although that's okay. a good thing. It is a like, good uh, thing. Like Link from the Past. Um. Yes. Yes, it does feel. It does feel like if Nintendo made a made a 2D Zelda oh. uh, with modern uh, and to with modern com, uh, consoles in mind. Okay. So, okay. So yeah. it's like um, so it's a 2D kind of like a uh, Shovel Knight. Uh no no it is it is completely 3D 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 graphics oh. and all that. 3D. Okay. But uh, what I'm saying is that um the um, the the gameplay and all that is is class is like classic Zelda. Uh, the combat does feel a little bit clunkier, just a little bit, not not that bad. Okay. Um, but it's the same the same type of um, of um, of design and same type of gameplay and, and story and all that. Okay. Uh, the characters look alike. Everything look alike. So so it's not it's not like uh, like oh we don't know what we're making. It's like they made a a, a game based on on Zelda. And, so um, when, when did this game come out? It came out this Tuesday, and and I, I digging digging up a little bit about the game. Um, I realized uh, it is a port of an Android game. Actually, it was on Android before being on PlayStation and Xbox. Really? Um, yeah. And the game the the game looks gorgeous. It looks really good. Um, that's one thing. Uh, okay. The another thing that I want to mention. Is that the, that the music of the game is made by Nobu Gamatsu. So if you okay. know, if you know who Nobu Gamatsu is, he is the guy who composed the music for Final Fantasy. Like the original Final Fantasy is one of the gods of gaming. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. so yeah, he composed the music, and um, and it it does it doesn't sound Final Fantasy like, but it is really good. Uh, the game has a really good story. It is very high quality. And again, if you if you have a PlayStation only or Xbox One only, and you want to play a good Zelda game, I recommend you to get it. It's only like ten bucks. I'll take a look and, at that. I didn't know that came out. 
yeah, and I, and I think it was published by it was even published by GameStop, the GameStop uh, uh, publishing division they just made. So oh, you can cool. buy physical copies at GameStop if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right. Yeah, it is. It is good. I, I'll I'll highly recommend it. I'll check that out. And uh, meanwhile, the game that I'm playing has been has been out for a while already. It's uh, Until Dawn, like that horror, horror, mm -hmm. sur well, not survival. Well, I guess it's a horror game. Um, it's like it takes the same uh, thing as from Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, that type of thing. The game mm -hmm. is good. It's it's. Um, I was playing it with my wife, and it's very like edge of your seat type of game. I mean, it's 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 a type of game that it's good to play with more than one person. If you play with a group of people, it's actually fun because um, there's these like quick time events or these choices that you make and sometimes like you're somebody's yelling at you, no, do this, do that. And also you find yourself talking about one of the characters or you're talking shit about one of the characters or you just talk about characters like if they're, they're in real life, dude. It's funny. The game is <laughs> funny. It's, it's good to play with a group of people. It's pretty cool, dude. And um, it, it, like, like, watching, uh, like uh, watching a horror movie or... It's actually like watching them. Uh, it's like doing an interactive movie. Is what that game is. The game mm -hmm. looks gorgeous. It looks awesome. It plays well, and um, yeah, it's like it's like uh, it's like watching a movie, a very long horror movie, and it's cool, dude. It's very cool, and I I like how um, in some in some parts of the game, there's a psychiatrist that takes your that takes that, that tries to di diagnose you, asks you questions. Depending mm -hmm. on what you answer, it's going to be in the game. Like if you're afraid of um, knives or needles, they're going to be in the game. If you're afraid of uh, snakes or spiders, one of those will be in the game. That type of thing. Oh, nice. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. It kind of tailors to your fit. And then it also, it relies heavily on the butterfly effect. Like, one little thing could be a massive thing at the end. So it's kind of kind of weird. Nice. Sounds, sounds pretty cool. I've been, I've been um, uh, keeping a look on that game, although it is, the, it is one of those type of, like, one of those games like, uh, like Heavy Rain and stuff, and I don't yeah. like those games much. Um, well, I do and I don't. It is one of those genres that I love or hate. Because I, for mm. example, love uh, Telltale games, which are pretty much the same. Yeah, and, there uh, is. Yeah. Tell, tell, tell. You're right. You're right. And and life is I mean, Telltale has and, like has their own little spin on things, you know, which is cool. Because actually, speaking of Telltale, I've I've been playing also um, the Wolf Among Us, which is pretty mm -hmm. damn good too. Yeah, it is really good. Yeah. It is really good. No, but what I, what 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 I was going to is like the is the type of game like adventure game um, more than action game and stuff. What yeah. about taking decisions and stuff like that? And uh, and for example, I, I like Telltale games and and uh, Life is Strange is what was one of my favorite games of the last year. Oh yeah. But at Life the same Strange. time, but at the same time, um, games like for example, uh, Heavy Rain, like especially Dave Cage games, I don't uh -huh. like them. So that's why. I don't know. I mean, uh, those it's... games. I mean, I've I don't want to buy full price because they're they're short games. They're like five for eight hours, you know. But they're great. They're a great roller coaster ride. But I mean, I would just wait until they're you know on sale. Like uh, like for this game, I waited until it's on sale. I got it for like twelve bucks at GameStop with my uh, pro rewards thing. So I mean, that's like mm -hmm. and it's totally worth it. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about it. But for full price, I mean, I wouldn't get it. It's not. Is not enough game for me to get at full price, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I know. I, I, also, as I, as I said before, before uh, we started the podcast, I'm going to get it probably in Halloween because I'm pretty sure it's going to be... It's worth it. You'll like it. You'll like it, dude. It's worth it. Um, and, yeah, and also um, this week, um, the Tomorrow Children, the, the pre-release, so we call the early access, is For out. What? Uh, the Tomorrow Children. That's what I'm playing right now, actually. Right. Oh, cool. This, this okay. yeah, it's, a, it's a game that I've been looking forward for like a long time already. Oh, nice. It, okay. it, 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 it uses some. Um, it, it looks really good. I recommend you to watch videos on that. Are you gonna stream it? it? You should stream some, dude. Yeah, I got. I'm gonna, I can upload a little bit of gameplay. And uh, probably so we should uh, probably stream it. some uh, Halo tomorrow as well, huh? Probably something. Yeah. Something for Twitch Overwatch. for Twitch fans. We should do Overwatch. Or free Overwatch, weekend, huh? yeah. Okay. Some Overwatch free weekend. Let's do it. And yeah, well, I recommend you to check it out. Um, I the game is going to be free to play, but right now, if you want to get into the early access, uh, you can buy what is called the founders the founders package for twenty bucks, and it gives you a, a few perks. 
Uh, but that's the only way you can play it right now. You cannot play the free to the free to play version because it's not fully released, and I don't know when it's gonna be fully released. Although I did recommend it, it's it's a game that is about a lot of little mundane things, but it's really fun for cool. some reason, uh, and it's really really cute and cute and creepy at the same time. That's weird. Uh, That's a weird mix. Cute. And yeah, creepy. you you. You need to you need to to see it to understand what I'm talking about. Is it is all ambient? Uh, the it is all um, stylized after the uh, communist uh, Russia, the right. the Soviet Union. Yeah, and um, yeah, and it's it's weird. Nice, dude. It's really good. It's really cool. I'm I'm liking it a lot. Put some screenshots or some video, man. I like to see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload um, uh, some some video. Cool. All right, Actually, so, right now, um, I just start recording, so there you go. Okay, good, good. I'll look forward to that then. So meanwhile, um, I think that's uh, pretty much it. We're going to probably play some Overwatch right now, right? And by the way, it's uh, like yeah. what you just said. It's the free free weekend of um, Overwatch, the free demo. So, so this, is the first time, this is the first time you play Overwatch. Before we go, what do you think about it? I like it. I really like it. I mean, the big, big, big plus for me is that there's no iron sights. It's all like uh, like good old Halo, Half Life. It's just there's your your aim and just shoot, aim and shoot. That's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I of course I played Call of Duties and all that. The Iron Sights, it's fine, but I just like this, dude. It's very very straightforward. Um, I did the training. I learned right away. It was not complicated at all. Um, I just uh, played with two heroes, and it makes me want to play with more heroes to see what their specials are and how they handle. I liked it. I liked it, and I and I um. I pretty much got the handle of it very fast, very fast. Mm -hmm. It was like it was kind of like riding a bike for another game, dude. It's weird. I really got the hang of it, so it's pretty cool. I can't wait to get back on it. That that's what that's that's one of the things that, that game does really well. It does um, it, it does um, welcome solid. new players. Really yeah. easy. It's really it's easy solid. to learn and play, but it's hard. Done. Like it takes it takes. It is one of those games that is easy to 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 play, but hard to master. There you go. Yeah. So I mean, and and how they did that, it makes me want to play more because I feel like, okay, you know what? I've been here. I've done this. I could do this. I could get into this. Because I mean, now in, in in my times, I mean, when there's a game that's like, wow, it's gonna take a lot of my time and resources. I'm like, really? And I just, mm -hmm. I, and I just, you know, get that lazy factor. I guess I don't know. It's just more work than anything else. So I was like, eh. But for this, I could jump in and I could probably do a good job and I could, you know pull my own weight within my group and the team. So it's pretty cool, dude. I can't wait to get back into it. Yeah, actually, once I'm done recording the the footage of the Tomorrow Children, we should jump. Just Yeah, dude, send me a message. Play a few Definitely matches. Something. But yeah, but I, right now I just picked up, I just picked up uh, some night vision goggles, I guess. And uh, you're going to see it on the video, but it looks really cool. Cool. It looks really cool. Nice, dude. Yeah, post that up as soon as possible. Yeah. My cat's all right. jumping around. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, so, yeah. So, that's all, that's it for all. Um, that's it for all. Uh, You're going to hear from us very soon. We're going to stream something tomorrow. We'll keep you updated. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or even have any ideas on what we should talk about, leave them in the comment section below. Check out our links below. We have our Instagram, Facebook, of course, YouTube, everything on Twitter. there. If you want to look at some follow quick up. links. And, uh, yeah, follow Blue Bows too. What's up? Sorry. Uh, okay. No, and follow us on Twitch too on Reboot oh. Robot TV. It's Reboot underscore Robot underscore TV. It's uh, on there. Replace. On there. Replace. I got a link. Oh, I, got a link go. so I got a link for everything on, on, on us, so it's all down there. All right. Even better. Okay. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And um, as always, um, live long, game on, and all right, like, subscribe, peace. All right. Peace out.